I often get very excited when I come across a program that just works well and is available to everybody. So this is one of them. This is Magic Eraser and it's on the site magiceraser.io. I can open it up on my mobile device in the browser and it operates really seamlessly there. It's like you're working on the desktop, but it's practically a, a browser-based solution or a cloud-based solution. There are many programs that are able to remove objects, etc., and do some do it better than others, but nothing does it as good as this program. And that's a big and tall order for me to make. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I think they've hit the nail on the head. And there's still room for improvement, but it's incredible. They've been able to replace things behind objects with AI and not just using kind of close pixels to, to merge in. So it's a really, really cool concept. Um, they also have the ability to um, remove backgrounds. It's one of their features that they have, or, or rather another program that they run. But I'm not too impressed with this. They've still got a while to go. There's others that I use usually. So when it comes to the pricing, this model really works well in that they give it to you like background dot, or was it remove.bg. They give you the option to do what you need to do, but you get a low resolution result. And if you want high resolution, you pay for it. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty and see an example or two of this. But before I go there, just have a look at this car demo on their site. The lines are at the bottom of the car, but when the car is removed, the lines are reconstructed. Very cool. So the first image we've got here is of four people on the beach. The one person on the right, they have a shadow and the three together, they have their own shadow. Just look at what happens. We're going to select this first person here. It's going to remove them and look how it preserves the shadow of the other three in that section by them. When I click erase, check that out. Their shadow is still kept intact of the three and the one person is gone. That is really incredible. So if I remove these three now, they are occluding the water behind them. So there is no water to define except that the AI will assume there's water there and reconstruct it and look what it does. So this is just not content filling. It is using, hey, look at the water there. It's using AI to assume that there was water at the back and then puts it in. I'm gonna just do this for all four of them. We could do it in, in one go and you could see how it gets done. I was just doing it separately to show you the power that it respects other shadows, even though its own shadow has been removed. So here we'll go again and just do this as a selection. And you can see it's a rough selection. It's not like quite on the edges of these things. We click erase and look at that. Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, then you can download your, your one that you get for free or if you want to have the paid version, you can get your high resolution one. Okay, let's just get another object open or another image and have another peek at how it works. So I'm going to open an image now where we're going to have a girl against a background. Okay, so She's standing against two types of backgrounds. One is a fibercrete wall, and the other one is just a white wall with a downpipe, right sort of above it. So in normal circumstances, if you had to do an object to remove, um, it would kind of give you a mushy experience at the back because it doesn't know how to recreate the back area. Yeah, the cool thing is, is that it uses the AI to know that that's a fibercrete wall at the back and it is now going to, with AI, replace those objects and keep the blur like it is here, the depth of field that we have with the actual photo. So it won't make the background clear all of a sudden. You'll see it will take, look at that. Incredible. It's taken the object away, reconstructed the downpipe, reconstructed the vibercrete wall, just using AI. Um, I'm going to just, oh, I made a mistake by clicking the erase there. Let me just redo this and I'm going to do it quickly, make the brush a bit bigger. And you can see there's no due concern given to the edges being exact. I'm literally just going far over the edges. Look at that. I go to the original, that's what it is. 
And then if I go to the erased, this is totally incredible. And that's why I think this product is really ahead of the curve because it's, it's using AI in the correct way, maintaining, you know, blur features, everything like that. So I think if you really want to benefit maximum, subscribe to them. It's like $10 and you'll get your high quality images converted. Um, maybe let me just try one more year. Uh, okay, I'll maybe go for this one. Uh, let's click there, open it. Let me show you, I mean the usual is when you go take logos off, uh, you know, tablets and so forth. That's the easy part and it does it without thinking. Look at this watch here. You move the watch, isn't that incredible? Look there. If I go in and remove the watch, it takes the watch away, leaves the arm, doesn't influence that. Well, folks, um, I truly, truly recommend you get onto this. It's free, first of all, up to 600 pixel images. So go fiddle around with it. And then if you like it, support the developers. They are doing an incredible job. This is my one of my top five applications that I keep using. It is incredible and it does the job really, really well. So have a great day and be blessed and Shalom.